I'm Manil Kumar. Welcome to my series on complex numbers. In this video, we will learn how to write a complex number in the form of modulus argument form or polar form. We have four examples. All these four examples are different in a way that they will be represented in quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. And accordingly, you understand how do we calculate argument becomes critical. We will see that part in this video. Question is, a complex number in polar form is written as r cos theta plus i sin theta. Write the following complex numbers in correct polar form. So r has to be positive and that sign should be positive, right? That's the key. So we'll take them one by one. So let's begin with a which is 12 plus 5i, right? So that's the complex number. Let's say z is equal to 12 plus 5i. So 12 plus 5i is in quadrant 1. Both are positive, right? So we are talking about complex number which is in quadrant 1. So in this case, the argument will be the angle alpha itself. Let's calculate the modulus first. So from here, let's calculate the modulus. Modulus is square root of 12 square plus 5 square square root, right? You'll definitely need a calculator. Uh, I know 13 is the answer, but we'll begin with using calculator. So square root of 12 square plus 5 square. So that gives you 13 as expected, right? So this is 13 for you. So we know that the value of r is 13. Now what is tan? The value of theta is tan inverse of 5 over 12, right? So, so that will be the value of uh, theta. So we'll write here 5 over 12. So let's calculate this. Your calculator should be in radians, right? So let's change the mode to radians. And now we'll do uh, tan inverse of 5 over 12. You get 0 0.394. Let's round it to three significant places, 0 0.395. Correct? So, so many radians. Now, we can write down our answer. So, this complex number, Z, could be written as magnitude R is 13, right? Cos of the angle 0 0.395 plus I sine of 0 0.395. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to write our answer, right? Or you could write alpha where alpha is, so we what we found here was R is basically 13 and alpha is 0 0.395. Is that clear? So either way, you could explain or write down your answer. Now let's do part B. Part B, we are given this complex number as equals to minus square root 3 minus I. Now, when we write like this, we now know that this complex number, both are negative, right? When both are negative, it's somewhere in this quadrant. So, when it is in this quadrant, then the angle alpha should be pi minus alpha, correct? So, we'll do minus pi in this case to get this particular angle, correct? So, the angle which is uh, here will be alpha minus pi, right? So, actually, uh, let me write here, alpha minus pi. Alpha minus pi, okay. So, let's begin with finding the modulus first. So, the value of r, which is the modulus, is square root of 3 plus 1, correct? Which is square root of 4, and that gives you 2. As far as the tan alpha goes, so tan alpha 
is equal to in this case negative we just take the positive angle right so 1 over square root 3 you could also use your uh, special triangles to get this answer right so special triangle in which the ratio is 1 over square root 3 is for pi by 6 1 over square root 3 correct So we know alpha is pi by 6. Which is tan inverse of 1 over square root 3. Now the thing is it is in this quadrant here right. So when it is in this quadrant we have to do pi by 6 minus pi since that is the angle both negatives right. So the correct form is writing with the positive value right. So, so the angle theta, the argument will be pi by 6 minus pi. Is it okay? That becomes minus, I should write minus 6 pi first and then I'll write down the answer, which will be minus 5 pi by 6. Is that clear to you? So, now we will write down our answer and the correct way of writing the polar form for minus square root 3 minus i is magnitude of 2. So the it is 2, right? And cos of minus 5 pi by 6 plus sine minus 5 pi by 6. Is that clear to you? So that is kind of important to understand, right? So you have to keep in mind that both are and this sign should be positive perfect now with this in mind next two questions should be solved by you so let's begin here minus 1 plus i means which quadrant are we talking about minus 1 positive i that means we are talking about quadrant 2 right so in quadrant 2 if we calculate the value of alpha then the value should be this value should be pi minus alpha clear that is the concept so first find the modulus so modulus r is equal to square root of 1 plus 1 right which is square root of 2 tan inverse of the angle which is 1 over 1 which is 1 is pi by 4 correct the angle theta should be pi minus alpha right is pi minus alpha so that has to be pi minus pi by 4 correct so that is equal to 3 pi by 4 is it clear and therefore the given complex number can be now written as equal to r square root of 2 right cos of 3 pi by 4 so in this quadrant that is negative plus i sine of 3 pi by 4 which is going to be positive clear so that is how we are going to get the answer i hope it is absolutely clear right so here is the last question. Let's try to do this one now. So first step, check the quadrant. So in this case, the quadrant is 3 minus 4i, right? So that means we are thinking about quadrant 4, right? Now in this particular quadrant, if you find the angle alpha, then here it is minus alpha. Is that okay? Minus alpha. So that is what we have to do. So first step, modulus a square root of 3 square plus 4 square, which is 5, right? Now, so we get the r value as 5. Now tan inverse of 4 over 3, right? So we'll find alpha equals 2. So we'll find the positive value alpha in quadrant 1, 4 over 3, correct? Is how much? Let's use the calculator. So we have shift tan inverse 4 divided by 3 equals 2. We get 0 
Now, the actual angle will be negative. So, theta is going to be negative 0 0.927 since we are in fourth quadrant, right? And therefore, we could write this complex number as magnitude being 5 cos of minus 0 0.927 plus i sine of minus 0 0.927 clear so that is how we should be writing our answers so this is the correct form of writing i hope that is absolutely clear feel free to write your comment share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best